Hey guys, another tutorial from LG Tutorials and today I will teach you how to render HD videos on YouTube. First of all, I want to tell you what HD means. HD stands for high definition as most of you guys have known and HD has 120 by 720p which is 720p HD and there is 1080p which is 920 by 1080p and there are others like 2K and 3K but I will tell you is about 720p and 1080p and it all depends what camera you're using. If you're using 1080p recording camera, that's good. You have a full HD. And if you have a 720p, that's still good. And it's all about your camera settings. And you should also know what your camera is filming in, which frame rate, and how much megabytes per second. And if you know all of that, no problem. No need to stuck behind your computer and say like, oh my god, how do you render HD videos? How do I do? What do I do? Now, your problem solved. If you want to know how to match your camera settings, I made a tutorial on that. So make sure you click your annotations right here. And go watch it and come back here. Alright, and the next thing you're going to do is click on properties. Or you can go to file, properties, properties. Oh my god, I just messed up my voice there. And there are custom. It, it is on my custom settings, but yours might have been different. So you should know your camera settings. Alright, in my case, I filmed it 190, 20 by 1080 which is full HD and my field order is upper field so which is 1080i instead of 1080p so you leave the other settings alright and I was filmed at 29.970 frame rate pixel format at 32 bit because most of the camera films in 32 bit and you like to go on best Gaussian and none and you can start all this project with these settings and uh, People just click apply right away. Well, bad choice. You want to have good audio. Go to audio tab, make that stereo, click this 48,000, the bit depth to 24, and set this to best. Now click apply and click OK. Now you have the best quality of video and audio. Now the next thing you're going to do is import media. So you could just go to file, import, and uh, click media. Now I'm going to choose one clip which was filmed on Canon 60D, which is the best DSLR so far in video mode which has the same video settings with 7D and which is a crop sensor mode and the same goes to T2i so you just click and drag to the timeline and as you could see it's very laggy because it's on preview full and as you could see T2i videos and all DSLR videos is hard to edit on Vegas in real time or in even or even on Premiere Pro or even in Avid Media Composer it's because the DSLR video films in H.264, which is the best format to upload, but not best format to edit. So you like to compress it, you like to um, reformat this video and to a new file and then edit it. But it doesn't matter. All I want to do is do a quality test and all that stuff. So let's just see you're done editing and all that stuff and uh, you trimmed it down. All right. So this is me just picking up the bear if you're wondering what I was doing. And now let's double click on the clip to set our original mark to render. So the only these portions will be rendered out. And now you click render as or you can go to file, render as, and now this window will pop up. Now let's choose a place where you could save. Let's go to desktop. Perfect. And the second thing you're going to do is to choose. You can't see all of that there now. And the second thing you're gonna do is to choose which file format you're gonna choose. Is it MP4, MPEG2, or is it QuickTime, or is it MP4 again, or is it AVI or WMV? That's the trick. But the tutorial I'm gonna show you applies to everything, all right? So if you just know this, you could use everything. So I'm teaching you one and now you get two. Because what I'll be explaining and showing you applies to all. Alright, so let me just demonstrate by going to Sony AVC MP4. And now yours might have been set to default template. Alright, so let's just click custom. Now it's on AVC, leave that AVC. Because it knows what's my file resolution. So let me just go to custom frame size, which is 9020 by 1080. Because I do know what my frame size, I know what, how what is it filmed in. And the profile on main, you set that, that like that. And um, frame rate on 29, awesome. Field order on upper field first because that is interlaced. And pixel aspect ratio on one. Now, here is the best. Listen carefully. 
bit rate. All right. Let me tell you what bit rate means. Bit rate depends your quality and your file size. The bigger the bit rate, the better the quality, but bigger the file size. The smaller the bit rate, the smaller the file size. However, a bad quality, but not that bad if you just go, if you don't go too much low. So let me just tell you and what amount you have to use. This is the reason why that you you know what to use everything if you just know what I will be explaining. So bit rate. You like to go the minimum of 4 million, even whether you're 720p. But if you're going with like 1080p, the least I could suggest you is 6 million. Alright, don't want to go less than 6 million if you're 1080p. But if you're 720p, don't go less than 4 million. And, and the maximum I could suggest you is 45 million. It all depends. If you're having DSLR videos, stay with 45 million because DSLR videos is high definition and it's really films with high megapixels but if you have a camcorder and if you do know what you're filming in stay around that I think camcorder films around 20 million or around 10 million so stay around those kind of levels and this also applies to WMV and MOV and all the other stuff if they tell you to what bitrate to choose just apply that and you know your frame rate you know your frame size done you know how to render in MP4 you know how to render in WMV so don't get confused with everything in my case I want to keep all the quality at the Best, so I want to keep on 45 million if you don't have DSLR videos don't stay like this and trust me this will give you the best quality but gonna give you a big file size now go to audio tab check include audio leave that on AS AAC and sample rate on 48,000 which is the DVD quality and bit rate I would like to stay on 192 for great audio audio encoding mode stereo you don't want to have a mono now system you want that to be MP4. Again, MP4. Project best. You're done. And you name your file, you render it out and see the quality by yourself. What I want to tell you guys is that there's no best settings for anyone. And it will be always be changing as the camera develops, as the software develops. But all I could tell you for now is suggesting if it's 720p, don't go less than 4 million. And if it's 1080p, don't go less than 6 million. That's all you have to keep in mind. Keep rendering videos with different formats, have your own test and see the quality and see the file size and it's you to depend which video you're gonna make. But trust me, if you have fast internet, go with high quality. That's all I can suggest you. If you don't still trust me what I mean, I'll, let me, I'll demonstrate how to render this on WMV. Now, as a default template, go custom, go to audio, go to, to CBR and choose 192 48 kilobytes stereo go to video I'm gonna go fast because you do know what I'm talking about right now and now I'll go to CBR WMV keep original size which is uh, I wanna go to custom because I know my frame size 180 29 quality at the best bit rate here it goes bit rate bit rate now it's on 500k don't it should be m all right not k so you should if you're rendering out 720p let me just go with the 4 million the list file size so we just click 4 and type m all right let's just go back to our bitrate now it's 4m which is 4 million the list you could render out and now go to index summary just leave that there if you want to add a title and everything you could just write that there project at best as always click ok render done you know what i'm talking about right now WMV, MP4, everything applies the same. It's all about bitrate and file size and frame rate and everything. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you click up subscribe. And trust me, there's no other tutorials than this. This one tutorial can cover up 100 tutorials. Was I too proud of myself? Anyways, make sure you click subscribe if this helped. Comment down how this was or click thumbs up so that people would know this is trustful and people have learned from it. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. You can always suggest your tutorial request on my channel moderator. And, uh, and see you guys later. I mean, next week, I guess. See ya.